Cochrane, Ontario is a vibrant Northern Ontario community. The growing town is the hometown of former NHL great Tim Horton, and fittingly, its state-of-the-art arena is named after him. That arena will be home to the Cochrane Crunch Junior A hockey team, which plays in the Northern Ontario Junior A Hockey League for the fall of 2014. Cochrane is hungry to welcome junior hockey to town. It's a pretty good idea because we don't have much hockey. We got uh, midget here in that city, and, and a lot of times we don't have enough players for midget. Like uh, it's kind of watered down, eh? But the junior hockey would be good for the people who want to watch some decent hockey. Well, I'm hoping that it's going to be successful. Uh, you know, especially for a small town to have a team coming in. Um, you know, it, it's it, I think it's going to create some good competition in the area as well, with Erie Falls being so close and Kirkham Lake. So it just helps maybe start a rivalry going on. It's been in existence for a number of years with the teams in minor hockey. I, you know, I, the first day I came into Cochrane was last last season uh, with uh, with the LA Lake Bobcats. Uh, we were playing the Iroquois Falls. Uh, we were playing the Iroquois Falls against the Abbott the Eskimos. And uh, Cochrane has the closest motel area space, enough rooms to uh, house a uh, hockey team. So we stayed here in Cochrane and we ended up getting some practice ice. We pull up to this beautiful facility in uh, Cochrane, Ontario, and we fell in love with it right away. We got talking with the community service guy at the arena and. You know, they got a beautiful facility, nice brand new seats, nice gymnasium, nice gym, gym area. It had everything a junior hockey team should have to have a junior hockey franchise. And so the wheels started spinning and, uh, you know, things weren't looking so good for me in our previous community in regards to infrastructure, um, recruiting kids to come to the community. So I said, ah, went to the next step, had a few meetings. And uh, here we are now in Cochrane where, you know, you've got a community where it's so vibrant. You've got families, you've got kids swimming in swimming pools kids playing in outdoor rinks, kids playing street hockey. This is all kinds of stuff I, I, I'm not, uh, I haven't seen in years. And that's, that's a Northern tradition is uh, kids outside playing and not playing video games. And being in this community here and living here for the last two weeks, uh, getting my family moved here, we haven't stopped. It's been go, go, go. And uh, you know what, that's the, kind of, that's the kind of life I like to see, the family life, the busy life. And that's what Cochrane has to offer. Oh, well, we're very excited, obviously. Uh, this is a status that we've been reaching for for quite a while. We've been under a, uh, a complete uh, revision of the community, how the municipality thinks we're, we're putting ourselves ahead of uh, the pack where we can in terms of leading economic development, social development. Uh, we're, we're completely out of the box thinkers in this community now. We're looking at different ways to move our community forward into the next hundred years, if you will, of existence. And uh, one of the key elements we needed, especially for this facility, which is a gorgeous facility, and uh, clearly one of the, the, the most impressive facilities in the north, is to have a tenant. Uh, or they have a number of tenants. And this is one of those tenants that we need in this facility to help pay for the facility to draw uh, the regional clientele, if you will, into the community as well too. In this facility alone, uh, people are surprised to find out, for example, 75% of the pool usage is regional. In fact, it comes from the city of Timmins, which is about an hour away, which is remarkable when you think about all the, the amenities they have. So to bring a, a, a tier two level junior hockey team here, which is, a, which is a big deal as far as we're concerned, to this facility is, is, is really important and it helps us continue on that path of rethinking the community, growing the community and becoming, uh, you know, maximizing our potential and becoming that community that everybody wants us to be down the road. Oh, this is huge for our community. You know, we rebuilt this arena you know, specifically for the a junior hockey team. Uh, it was a dream of ours uh, when we first built this place uh, seven years ago. Uh, it's huge. It's, uh, it's going to bring economic, economic development to our community and it's uh, one of the best things that's happened to, to Cochrane in, in, in a while actually. Just having a junior A team in Cochrane is, uh, excites me because I like to watch hockey and I like the young, young players, uh, you know, to come out and play and uh, put a show on for Cochrane. Like Cochrane's a hockey community and I mean, it's a Canadian game as well, but I mean, we're, we're a hockey town. And I mean, uh, for us that grew up playing hockey and uh, I mean, my brother and uh, traveling teams and stuff were, you know, and to, to, to hear about this and to see that, uh, like I got a young young son but and a, and a daughter, but Ivan's kids were already playing hockey. And I mean, to, to me, having the Crock and Crunch as a junior A team playing in, in Cochrane, I mean, for them, it'd be great role models, um, you know, for them to, uh, to, to see this. Uh, is only going to make things more encouraging for everybody else, and uh, I believe Cochrane has got the uh, Cochrane's the town to do it in, uh, in terms of uh, enthusiasm and uh, you know know-how and care and this and that. So I, I think that it's uh, I'm very excited for sure. No, there's a, this facility here is clean, spotless. You know, the, the guys work around the clock here to keep this facility where it needs to be. The seating is great. There's not a bad seat in the house. Uh, you know, our, our players now have a nice, beautiful. Uh, gym facility here to work out with. They can do all their fitness here. They got a nice spin room upstairs where the boys can do a lot of workouts there on the bikes. 
you know, we got a swimming pool here where the kids want to go for the afternoon or in the evening, go for a swim, go for a hot tub. The dressing rooms, all, everything is all in the one facility. It's unique, it's clean, it's fresh, it's new, and they take pride in what they have here. The Cochrane Crunch Junior A program, um, formerly known as the Ellie Lake Bobcats Junior A program, is not just a hot Junior A hockey team or a hockey team per se. It's an actual program. You're coming here, you're going to start your day at 10 o'clock in the morning and your day is going to end at 4 o'clock every day. So it's like coming to a job or going to university or going to school. You come at 10 o'clock, you sign in, you get your workout clothes on, you're with our workout fitness instructor from 10.30 till noon. You leave for lunch till 1. 1 o'clock you come back, you're in our classroom setting that we have with our full-time uh, educational assistant that we have with the team. You're doing six weeks of SAT training and practice for your SATs from one till two. And then you're on the ice from 2.30 to four daily and that's offered to every single player that, we're, that is in our program. And if you're in the school system, you're in still in grade 12, 11, you go to high school and we have a program set up where you be out of school every day at two o'clock in time to get back here for 2.30 for practice from 2.30 to four. So there's no, uh, there's no kids gonna come here and sleep and play Nintendo all day, you know, or to play with their PlayStation systems. The players are gonna come here and they're gonna have structure from 10 o'clock till four. And that's always been our motto for the last seven years is that the kids will be kept busy. And I think that's what worked as a program. I think we're one of the only programs in my seven years of being involved where we, every single game, we've had a full 20 man roster dressed because we keep 23 guys all year and those 23 guys know that if they're not doing their job, if they're removed, someone else wants their spot because parents trust in our program to send their kids here to be taken care of and making sure that they're going to be put in some kind of a structured environment. And that's, that's what our program is built around Monday to Thursday and Friday nights are our home games, Saturday, Sundays we travel. Well, I think uh, most of those kids are in good physical shape as it is. Uh, they need to maintain that and do different types of training as opposed to what they do on ice. Uh, we'll, uh, like cardio fitness training as in spinning classes and stuff like that will be good for them. And also weight training in the fitness center to get their strength and agility and speed on different types of training. I think that's very important for them. Yeah, you know what, uh, the, the community's really embraced the hockey team coming here to the extent that they have a phase two, it's already a brand new arena. They've got a phase two coming where we're actually adding press boxes above the ice surface um, where there will be alcohol being served to our bigger um, executive sponsors. And also the facility itself will be um, serving alcohol to all of our fans in the stands. So it's going to be an entertainment venue for everybody in the community to come out to where you know, you can come and socialize, you can come watch a hockey game, you can come have the odd drink and watch a hockey game. And, and uh, that's going to add to our venue as a junior team. So I think next year, you're, uh, this season, stepping on the ice, you're going to see 500 plus here every single night. Maybe six, 700 is what our goal is. And it's going to make the entertainment value worth the $10 of coming in or the $250 for buying a season ticket. So that's, that's what our program here is going to strive to do is provide the entertainment value. We're going to have light shows before the game starts. The players are going to skate out on the ice underneath a big tunnel. It's, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. And uh, we, we want to have a mini OHL uh, atmosphere here. And, that's, and we're going to offer in a community the size of five, you know, 5,500, 7,000 people in the community. They're going to have that entertainment right here in the community. And it's going to be fun to watch. Um, the, the community has gone into the way to make sure that we're going to come in here and be comfortable. We're going to have an OHL style dressing room, 25 stalls, carpeted floors, uh, you're going to have a dress down area, coach's office, a trainer's medical room, all in our own area, which is starting to be built at the first week of May. So it's going to be a top notch facility that the community, the council has bought into, the community has got into, bought into, and now us as a program coming into Cochrane, we've bought into it. So it's a big group adventure here. It's going to be a community adventure and it's going to be fun. Ryan, I think is, at least he strikes me as being probably one of the best entrepreneurs in the league. And I say that because I've watched him in action. And, and what I see is somebody who draws people in regularly. He doesn't push people away. You have an issue with uh, the Cochrane Minor Hockey Association, for example, Ryan is drawing them in, finding a way to make them part of the team. You have an issue with the league where others may not want to travel as far as they, you know, as far as what Cochrane is, Ryan is drawing them in and he's making them part of that team. And so that's going to bode very, very well here. I, I see him with a lot of different elements in this community, drawing people in, making them part of the family. And the more he does that, and the more entrepreneurs do that in smaller communities, the more you benefit and maximize from the potential that's in that, in that community, which is uh, spread throughout the community. So it becomes more of a, of a family approach. It's always more difficult in smaller communities because of how personal it is, right? So uh, when you make decisions, and, and uh, especially when you're dealing with people's children and kids and so on, uh, sometimes that can become difficult. But the upside is that when you're drawing people 
people in and you're working towards an end goal together and everybody feels that they're part of the process, uh, then, you, then you realize success exponentially from there.